my next few videos are going to be a little bit different. A friend of mine just reached out. He's got a car that needs some work. He lives over 715 miles away from me. So it's Saturday right now, 8 p.m. Just pulled into the yard and clocked out. I'm going to go home, pack up some tools, then uh, drive through the night. Should be there by morning. And um, we'll, we'll see what's going on. I know it's a 73 F250 with a 360 engine. And the engine needs to be rebuilt. So that's what uh, these next few videos will be about probably. One getting there, doing all the prep work and cleaning. Another one of putting it together, breaking it in. And maybe a car show at the end of the week. We'll see. All right, I'm loaded up, pretty much ready to go. It's like 10 p.m. now. Uh, just off the top of my head, I just threw in stuff that I know I'm going to need. Anything else that I might need, I'm going to have to buy. But I got the Flex Hone, a couple of impacts, WD-40s, miscellaneous hand tools. I got a pressure washer in here, the, obviously the compressor, camshaft bearing tool, um, the oil filter cutter for after we break in the engine, a pri oil priming tool, just basic uh, engine rebuilding tools that I know I'm going to need. So let's hit the road. hours just made it to Vegas put about 400 miles in so far so we're over halfway there
this out. From out there, this looked like a mine shaft, but it's nothing. I'm gonna walk over there and see what's out there. Looks like the mine's out there. Let's go for a walk. These things are huge. I don't know what they are. Looks like there used to be a structure there. There also. I might be standing on a tailing pile. There's like a slab of concrete there. And the pipe sticking out of the ground there. <sighs> Too bad the sun's messed this up. I'd really like to know what the story is of this place. truck it's in worse condition than I thought but I think it could be done over a few days I'm gonna have to take the week off and stay here and get this done but uh, we could start degreasing this hosing some stuff down maybe clean the firewall and paint it and uh, I'll go look at the engine right now and see what see what we're working with. I can probably weld in some sheet metal to fix those holes. Yeah, this truck needs a lot of work, but I'm kind of motivated to see if I can get it done before I leave. I think I should start off by seeing all the parts that I have, spraying this down with a couple of cans of degreaser and just come in guns blazing. It's like 100 degrees here. Clean all this up. Maybe a rattle can chassis down here and the whole engine compartment. Well, I got my work cut out. That's for damn sure. Well, here are the pieces to the puzzle. Mm. 
And over here, more pieces to the puzzle. Well, this is gonna be a lot of work. Well, the crank doesn't look terrible. All right, well, I guess we'll spend the rest of the day cleaning. Gotta make a trip to Harbor, get some supplies, and get to it. We got all these main caps. I took out these bearings here. Uh, we got this in this tub. We got all the hardware in this little one here. All this other stuff, we're gonna eventually get to it. We bought this uh, jug here of industrial strength degreaser. Got this at Home Depot. Well, we're gonna use this to kind of clean the stuff. Some of the stuff we'll leave it overnight. You know, degrease the chassis, paint the chassis, get the the truck itself ready for the engine to come back. Clean the chassis, uh, the uh, the block, hone it. Leave some of this stuff to soak, degrease, and hopefully tomorrow we can start putting the engine together or get a better uh, understanding of where we're at. Because so this wraps up day one. Got all the hardware in there cleaning. Timing cover and some of the internal parts right there degreasing. Heads in the morning, I'm gonna rebuild these, lap the valves and do all of that. And the push rods are in there degreasing. So hopefully we'll get more done tomorrow.